Hello, I'm IBX Tweaker, and this is a video on the internet, and this is Q&A SAS Day, a weekly series where you guys ask me questions, and I answer them, uh, whether they be about my life, about YouTube, about anything. Uh, I'll do, like, console-specific Q&As in a bit, but for now, it's just talking about me, because lots of people seem to enjoy that, and that's what we're going to be doing. So, before we get into this week's one, I want to quickly point out that the, uh, so it's really light outside, it's a sunny... August now. <laughs> wow, it's August. Uh, day, and for some reason, the amount of light out there makes it dark in here, so it seems like it's dark, but I have no idea. I turned on my light, and it still doesn't fix it. So that's why it's like dark today. It's not, I don't just live in the dark ages or something. I, I don't know what you might think. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Also, it randomly focuses in and out and now and then, but besides that, we're all good. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, let's go into the first question from last week's Q&A, which is from Ali Akram, who asks, Q&A, how much of your day does YouTube take? Uh, so this is, uh, you know, not a simple answer. It takes two and a half hours there, sir. Uh, so some days uh, it's less effort than others because it turns on the videos I'm making. So uh, honestly, a lot of people think that it's just, oh, you, you record for 10 minutes, then you upload it. Wow, why do you get paid for that? But honestly, it's uh, so for a Let's Play, it's just recording for 20 minutes. Uh, like I'll probably spend like 10, 15 minutes trying to work out what I'm going to record, etc. And then you go into it, you edit for like 10 you render and you upload, which isn't too difficult. Uh, so in reality, those videos, they only take a little bit of my day. If I'm just calling Let's Plays, it can actually be a pretty short day, like only an hour and a half, two hours. But in reality, because I do like my in-depth tutorials every week, I do my top five of something a week, I do my Seed Sunday. Uh, Seed Sunday takes a tremendous amount of time each week. Uh, the in-depth tutorial, getting like all stuff together, I spend like three, four, five hours the previous day researching. Then I spend like half an hour to an hour, like going through making sure that I actually get the right take. It's quite a lot of uh, effort to go through it which is something I like doing, but I just want to point out that takes maybe, let's say an average four, five, sometimes six hours a day. Uh, in, I've, in reality, I've spent like 10 hours a day doing it, like uh, multiple days in a row because I need to get loads of videos done. Uh, but an average day, I'd say four to five hours. So lighter than an, a regular job uh, and I'm doing something I like, so there's that. I'm, I'm just, you know, want to throw it out there that's not as simple as 10 minutes a day of recording. It's, it's quite a lot of making sure everything right. So yeah, that's that. Thumbs up. Again, just, just, just thumbs up, because why not, right? Uh, so the second question comes in from Apple Johnny, who asks, if you could have three wishes, what would you use them for? And don't say more wishes. So <laughs> my instinctive response is always more wishes, and I know that's that's a lame thing to do, but it's the best option. But if we can't say more wishes, because that will break the wishes, um, I guess I'll just go with ones that is essentially more wishes. So I'll go with... Uh, infinite money or like a, you know, some insane amount of money that you can't run out of if you can't save infinite money. Uh, the ability to control anyone. So like, I could be like, uh, look at Obama over there and go, you will cancel Obamacare or you will make Obamacare stronger. Some, some very political thing that people are going to be angry at me for. Uh, just as an example, so I could do that with anyone. And then for the third wish, to give me more power, uh, essentially more infinite wishes, I'd go with, uh, what should I go with? I guess I'd live forever. I'll live for as long as I want to. Because if I if I tie myself to living forever, I'd forget that. But I can live for as long as I want to. So therefore, I'll live for as long as I want to. I'll have the ability to control people, and I'll have infinite money. So I'll be I'll be happy forever, and essentially have infinite wishes. Because if I can control someone, and then give someone money and stuff, I guess you don't need money if you can control people. But yeah, then I'd essentially be able to control people, and it'd be. It'd be like uh, having infinite wishes, which would be cool. So yeah, I just wish for infinite wishes without it wishing for infinite wishes. I think there, there's some things I can't do, but you get the point. Uh, like I can't, I can't fly or something stupid like that. Uh, so next question comes in from Avhard, and uh, this is a question I get every now and then, and it's one I feel is important. It's uh, I have a Q and A for you, or he actually only has a Q for me. He doesn't have an A. But why do you always play Minecraft? Play some different games. So. Uh, I get this asked a lot, why do I only play, why do I play so much Minecraft? Uh, honestly, whenever a new game comes out that I'm interested in it, I'll play that, but right now, I keep the channel that's like, as what you guys want. Like, uh, there's no point uploading something if you guys aren't going to enjoy it. Like, what am I achieving there? If I really want to upload something, uh, like, you know, something weird, then I'll upload it on the second channel, so if I do like a random, like, let's say Call of Duty 4 live commentary session, I'll upload it on the second channel. Uh, but for, for the most part, you guys are subscribed for Minecraft. Why would I upload something else that you guys don't want? Because the idea is that we're doing something cool here. I like enjoying what I'm doing, but I enjoy doing Minecraft stuff. I'm not one of those guys that's like, Ugh, I can upload whatever I want, but it has to be in these games. Ugh, my life sucks. I, 
I, I, that's not how I do things. When a new game comes out, I'll give it a shot. If you guys like it, then I'll keep it up. If you guys don't, then I won't. That's how my channel works. It's pretty simple. Uh, so yeah, next question comes in from Venom Free Free Two Two One One. Did I get that right? Uh, no, just one one. Just one one. <laughs> uh, Q and A. How did you get the copyright for the Sonic song at the end of your vids? If you don't have the copy, why would you risk getting in trouble? So. I get this asked quite a bit actually. Uh, so I have three protection reasons because this, if you're wondering at the end of my uh, videos, I have a remix of Green Hill Zones from Sonic 1. Uh, I'm gonna quickly lower the webcam. That's that's better. That's way better. Uh, but yeah, so um, at the, uh, the reason I'm protected with three reasons. First of all, it's less than 30 seconds. So I think on YouTube, I don't know if this changed recently or if people just realized you could protect yourself. But if you use less than 30 seconds, then one, the YouTube uh, content ID thing won't pick you up. Uh, so, you know, they can't just take your money without even going through any system. Uh, two, I think it's allowed under fairly use. And yeah, there's that. Um, but yeah, the second thing is it's video game music, which you might notice I'm allowed to upload video games because I'm protected by a network. It's, they want people to play their video games. I don't think Sega really do, so that's not a big protection. And third of all, it's a remix. It's not even their music. It's a remix of their music. So uh, there's, there's lots and lots of things protecting me. I've got 22 seconds of a video game remix. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty safe as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to switch it every now and then, just in case one of these tracks does somehow get copyright. I don't lose everything. Uh, but, you know, for now, it works fine. I do essentially... I don't, you don't need copyright to play 30-second segments of songs. Uh, hopefully that answers your question just fine. Next question comes in from that one creeper. Not, not that other creeper. This one creeper who asks, how did you meet Bolts the Clan and Landmaker? So, I'll just talk about other YouTubers in general. So, Bolts the Clan, I think I might have mentioned this story before. Uh, but, like, when we both had a thousand subscribers, he might have even had, like, 1,500, 1,400. Uh, he just randomly messaged me, and it was like, hey, want to come play some, like, I think it might be Minecraft, might be something else, and I was like, sure, and then we just, like, I remember distinctly just playing Summit and Black Ops, uh, like, together, and just being like, oh, this is cool, and then we just kind of, uh, also, do you see that weird light in the background? What was that all about? Um, <laughs> so, but yeah, and then we're just, uh, just always been cool like that, and just every now and then we're like, hey, you want to do a video? And it's just like, yeah. Like, it's, it's a pretty cool friendship. Uh, Lion Maker, uh, we go in contact because of his crafting into YouTuber series, and then just every now and then we stay in contact. It's, it's a pretty swell thing. And, yeah, just other YouTubers. I try not to just force myself uh, like into getting contact people because, randomly, YouTubers just turn on each other, and it's the worst thing. So I try to make sure that I'm only, like, on speaking terms of YouTubers that I'm actually friends with. Or, or, or I think are cool dudes. So, like, I'll speak to Eskimo, and I'll speak to Bolts, I'll speak to Lion Maker, but I won't... I, I'm, I'm not going to say some people, but some people just rage at random people going, why you make, like, a, a, if you don't recall, about a year ago in the Minecraft community, it was this awful thing to make news videos. How could you? Just because your subscribers want to see it, you're a whore, or something like that. So, yeah, I, I, I try to stay away from the negative side of the community. That's why I don't do as many collab videos as some people. But it means that I'm more positive about stuff, which is generally good. Thumbs up. <laughs> I'm going to do that all the way through the video now. I hope, I hope you're aware of that. If you're not, then that sucks. Uh, next question comes in from Wolfman, who asks, Can you fly? So, next question comes in from the Minecraft guy, who asks, Where did you first meet... Uh, he says meat as in, like, I eat meat. But, yeah, meet Alice. And uh, this is a... Fairly simple question, I think. Uh, so I first met Alice at a party, a Halloween party, like two years ago, three years ago even, 2011. Yeah, 2011 actually. Uh, and then we just kind of spoke a little bit after that because we had a had a nice incident. And then yeah, we just kept speaking. And then like two years later, uh, the like my brother went to Japan for. A month or so, like two weeks, and uh, she was just cat sitting in the same house that I need to be in because I he borrowed my laptop in exchange. I got to use his PC for like two weeks, and uh, yeah, we were both in the same house, and then we just started dating. Simple. Also, I'm wearing I'm wearing just a random grumpy T-shirt. My old T-shirt got bad, and this is the last T-shirt I've left. It's one from when I was like 14, and even then, I didn't think it was a good T-shirt. It's just grumpy with a picture of grumpy on it. Just in case you've been curious, this whole video. There's there's your answer. <laughs> so next question comes in from Loza2109 who asks where about in England do you live? By the way, good job on knowing I live in England. Lots of people are asking where about in America do you live? And it's I, I don't really live in America. Uh, so <laughs> where about in England do I live? I live in Bedfordshire. It's 
It's really hard to describe. It's like in the middle of everywhere, in the middle of nowhere at the same time. It's like slightly north London. I'll probably just put a map on screen right now. That'll probably be easier. I, if I haven't put a map on screen, then I'm sorry. But yeah, I, I live in Bedfordshire. It's like nearish to London, so if you know the UK, then that's that. Um, so yeah, there's your answer. Also, you actually know England, not even just the UK. Good job. Uh, would you ever do a blog channel or another gaming channel? So uh, the answer to this one is I would do another blog channel or another game channel. Uh, my second channel, youtube.com slash ibx2cat, is where I do a weekly vlog. Um, I just actually earlier recorded my... I didn't record it earlier. I recorded my rapid fire vlog for the thing. It's probably been uploaded by now. Uh, I've also I also do just random vlog vlogs like uh, one of my favorite ones was how to make infinite money. If you want to make infinite money at casinos, then uh, check that video out. Uh, yeah, I, I have a vlog channel and a gaming channel. It's it's a pretty cool second channel because I don't have to upload. I just upload whenever I feel like it, and it makes the videos different. I don't want to say better. I I, I definitely don't think better, but they, they're they're very different videos. But if you want to see more videos from me, more vlogs, more stuff like that, then there is a good place to check out. So I hope you enjoyed this week's Q&A Sass Day. If you have any weeks for next week's one, leave them in the comments. Oh, I did this right. Down below. And um, I will answer most of them. I think I answered pretty much all of them from this week. So, uh, yeah, if you want to get your questions answered, or if I missed your question, you can say it again. Unless it was an awful question, like, Toy Cat, do you bees? Do you, do you bees? Do you? Do you? Do you bees? Do you? So yeah, let me know if you guys bees in the comments down below. And like it if you liked it. Share if you really liked it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for Seed Sunday. And yeah, here's some outro music.